One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and what I've got here for you today is a beer review by somebody who's not a beer drinker. Now I drink time to time. If I'm in Vegas, I drink like a fish. That's all there is to it. I like to drink in Vegas. But mostly liquor. Um, like hard liquor with like bunches of fruity stuff in it. Like really hard. But then, all of a sudden, hard root beer. Man, I'm into that. Not your father's root beer. I started seeing that out there and then a couple friends tried it. Um, and I knew there was another kind I can look and kind of check. Uh, Mission. In fact, I'll just let you see. I've got them both. And I was going to do a review of them. And then I see my shelves and I was going to be like, You know, you know what I like more than all the junk on my shelves here? You know the guy that looks like Waldo and tells you about his Ferrari and stuff? And like, I'm such a super big shot, you know, that like, my... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Okay, so... I haven't had a beer yet, no. Um, okay, so basically this is not your father's root beer. Not your father's root beer. Let me give you a close-up of the box there to where you can see. And that's the product. Now, this is actually the one I wanted. What does it say? Ale with the taste of spices. This is 5.9% alcohol by volume, ABV. Small Town Brewery is the name of the brewer. Oh, wow. This is beer flavored with spices. Mm. Okay, this is going to be hard to read. Maybe if you can... I don't know. Because it's going to be half and half no matter what. I'll give you a good view like that if you can read it. Great. If not, whatever. That's the product. And the other one is Mission Hard Root Beer. Now, I bought this. I gave two to my buddy. They got a bunch of brews they make. You can see him. Hang on now. Dang it. Let's see. Ah, and it went down. But still, maybe that'll help. They've got all kinds of them I've seen today. I've already got my pictures, so that don't matter. But what I haven't got is drinking this beer. So, how I'm going to do this, I have no clue. Let me get my, I got a lighter here. Now, I went and got Taco Bell because I wanted some food. Now, I've already been crunching, but I actually made a very bold choice for me. I didn't get a drink, but then I wished out. Came home and got a drink. I didn't get a drink because root beer should do just fine, right? So that's the stuff first impression type thing. I'm not a beer drinker. So that's kind of the whole point of this too. If you're not a beer drinker, maybe it's something you'd like to drink. I'm not going to give my opinion on the other one. You can definitely tell unique ingredients with an unmistakable taste of nostalgia. Small town brewery makes specialty beers that utilize unique ingredients with an unmistakable taste of nostalgia. Nostalgia, nostalgia, I don't know. I don't know if you get both of these where you are or not. I got like a Coors Light aftertaste. When I did drink beer, I drank like, you know, a suitcase of like Coors Light. And then I got all big and fat and I couldn't do that anymore. Um, I'm going to hang this around my neck again. That's good. Um, I'm going to do a double blind or I hope it won't be so blind because I've tried it. But I'm going to try out the mission right after. And I will say, by the way, as I take this off again and try to flip it around, sorry about that. This is a workplace thing. That label's melting. I'll say it after I try it. Hang on.
Okay. I know this. The mission is 7-5. The small town, not your father's, is 5-9. And that's, I don't know, 28% difference. It's 28% more alcohol in mission. I can't say that you actually taste it, though. Um, it's got a different taste. You know, the guy at the liquor store said it's got a little bit too much black licorice taste. And I thought about that on the way home. I don't like black licorice. Um, I've tried a couple kinds from Netherlands and Sweden where I kind of like, mm, it's interesting every once in a while, but I'm not a black licorice fan. I didn't notice any black licorice taste to the other one. Um, now that he says that, excuse me, maybe I do. <clears throat> hey, I guess I can burp however I want because, like, it's a beer review, you know? If you do that while you're making a car review, it's just not proper. This is a beer review, damn it! This is Marka! I think it's Marka and beer. So that's the deal. That's about, you know, this is a lot lighter of a beer. Um, trying that right after. Hang on now. Let it smooth out. Hang on. We gotta take a a chicken burrito. I don't know. Two salsas. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's cleanse our palate a little bit. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna take another one of this. Maybe I'll just do this all night. All right, now we're on bottle number. We only got nine, so can't get that drunk. That's okay, I got Johnny Walker Blue right inside. A lot lighter. Um, I'm going to say that the Not Your Father's is a lot lighter. I tried this one first. It's not not bad and dark and yucky or nothing like that. However, this is a lot lighter. Um, excuse me. I would compare it. To, see, I'm still trying to hold that down. I would compare it to um, let's say A and W and Bargs. Bargs got bite. Maybe a little bit more cream sooty, maybe a little bit more bite. Let's try that again, now that I've cleansed the palate with another. We didn't get the salsa this time, though. If you really distaste, distaste, dislike the taste of alcohol, I'm going to say go with Not Your Father's. Um, if you don't mind it, and you like it, I don't know if it's a stouter. It's kind of hits you different. It's Bargs versus A and W. That's a good comparison. It really, really is. Um, could be the difference in their recipes. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be huge, but it wasn't. It was trapped under a layer of burritos and salsa. So try it out if you're looking at that kind of stuff. If you're a beer drinker, hey, you might like it. If you're not a beer drinker, hey, you might like it anyways. Um, other than that, my flashlight is on. I don't know if you noticed that. Can you even see this? Old cars. Here, right, there's a brick one. There's a brick one. This guy's got all kinds of stuff. We found a Pinto. We found a 74 Pinto. We got, my dog's going crazy. She's like, we did. Nice, beautiful. Check out my channel. I've got all kinds of videos on there. There's an old Woody wagon. Um, there's an old Oldsmobile coupe. I've got a little Starfire here. Awesome car. There's an old Mercedes right there. Little uh, ponton fin. I got six of these S500s and such. I got a Cadillac pickup truck like you ain't never seen before. Man, I got a 150 car. 150 cars. Old Cadillac Seville over there. I don't even know if you can see the grill of it. I'm just doing a quick walk around of the lot. That was your beer review. I'm going to go inside. 
And I'm gonna actually drink all them beers. That's what I'm gonna do. Trans Ams. I got 30 Trans Ams left. 68 Lincoln Continental. Okay, well, there's an SLC with 59,000 original miles. Mercedes, Mercedes everywhere. That's the deal. Okay. So we're back here now. <coughs> we're ready to see. Yes. Yes. The mission is a lot darker. Darker. Stouter. I like Not Your Fathers uh, better. I've got to say. Um, I don't mind the other one. I would say, like, if you drank three Not Your Fathers and started it on a mission, probably wouldn't even ever know the difference. Um, it's not that much of a thing. I'm really, really searching for it to give a comparison, I guess you'd say. Um, so with that, I'm going to say, And you know what I like better than all these cars and money is books. That jerk. Okay, well, if you don't know what it is, you can, like, I think you can look on YouTube. You can enter, like, um, guy with Ferrari and bookshelf. And, like, now he's getting YouTube revenue or something from you guys checking that out or something. Who knows? But that's the deal. Not your father's root beer? It's not. It's really not. Thanks for watching. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you.